All right, powered by the Ariel 1D1 engine, the H125 behind me has become a bit of an industry staple for a variety of missions. For instance, law enforcement like the one behind me, uh, lots of utility, uh, private owner, of course, these helicopters are incredible. They produce amazing power and they're uh, known for their phenomenal performance at high altitude. And actually kind of what separates, say this H125 to some of the other competitors within the single engine helicopter turbine market. Let's just take a little peek. All right, so the 125, first and foremost, one of the things that I love about the Airbus product, both on the uh, H130T2 and also the H125, is the sliding doors. You can have a single slider or you can actually have a dual slider. I prefer the dual slider, makes it super awesome. Uh, let's take a sneak peek at the cockpit. cockpit of the H125, it can be a standard setup, just like analog gauges, things like that. Uh, but they're also upgrading to a lot of glass now with the Garmin technology, uh, with autopilot, of course. Again, just like any automation, it just helps relieve the pilot workload. Also something that Airbus uh, kind of started, which I love, is the FLI. That's on the VEMD. The FLI is the first limit indicator. So back in the day when I'm flying a Jet Ranger, no offense, I love the Jet Ranger, you raise that power and you're looking at three different gauges to make sure that you're not exceeding any limitations. Well, Airbus had a great idea and they put all those propulsion gauges into one indicator. Again, it's called the FLI and it tells you as a pilot what your most limiting factor is and you just don't have to exceed that one gauge. You're not looking over at three. So again, that's a pretty cool setup. Uh, other OEMs are now going that route, but I think Airbus maybe started it. Let's keep looking at the machine. unlike the H130, has your traditional tail rotor, whereas the 130 has the Fenestrom. The H125 is known to not be really too susceptible to loss of tail rotor effectiveness. Again, anytime you're flying a helicopter, you always have to be aware of the aerodynamic hazards that could cause an issue or an incident. And being able to have that increased power in the tail just gives you, the pilot and operator, the security of feeling extra safe. H125 has always done a great job at the seating configuration. We call it that stadium seating, all the seats facing forward. And again, with those big rear sliders, it makes it super easy for passengers to get in and get out of the helicopter. Uh, certainly an enjoyable ride. The helicopter behind me is obviously set for law enforcement. In fact, you can see that they even are doing hoist operations. Pretty incredible to see that on a single engine helicopter. And it's just a testament to the power of these machines. Whether you're in utility, whether you are in law enforcement or corporate VIP, the H125 may be the right airframe for you. We love helping clients buy and sell the 125, so if you have any questions, you know where to get us.